back, but it looks as though we're going to stay green. There's the right side of that 11 of T.J. Bell. Three laps of racing to go. Again, out front, Todd Bodine, Kyle Busch, Terry Cook, Ron Hornaday, Matt Kraft in your top five. Here comes Skinner on the outside with Got a six of Colin Brown pushing him. Hornaday running fourth right now. He's got Terry Cook in front of him. Again, Terry Cook's truck has been to victory lane three times with three different drivers. If that seven truck could ever bust free and get to the outside with those new tires, I believe he could make some ground up there. Right now, he's trapped on the bottom, though. See, Matt Crafton's going to make it three wide. Going to put J.R. Fitzpatrick in the middle. Colin Brown sees the momentum that Crafton had, tried to get up in front and work with him. You can see the seven. He gets around the 17 of Timothy Peters. He's right on the back of Taylor Mossum. Can he push you up to the top five? Watch Looks this seven truck. Going to try to push him by the five of Mike Skinner. He's got him cleared. Uh, be smart here. Be smart. A lot of stuff's going to go on this last lap and a half. Sounds like Butch Hilton giving him a little bit of advice. Under five miles of racing to go from Daytona. The seven needs to pop to that outside and try to use his new tires. On the inside, uh, see the left side's below the yellow line again. Who's that jumping in the Mike outside? Mike Skinner took to the outside. Mike Skinner's looking for help. Doesn't look like he's going to get any from that 17 of Timothy Peters. And now Colin Brown's going to make a three wide going to the outside. Oh. Side by side here, Skinner and the seven of J.R. Fitzpatrick just in front of him. Three time series champion, the 33 of Ron Hornaday. But time will die with just a lap to go, looking to make it four straight wins at the super speedways. And Where's Kyle, Kyle going to try to make his move, Michael? He'll probably do it down in turn three. He's got just what he wanted. He wanted to be running second when he took the white, and he's positioned right on top of that buffer. He's going to count on Terry Cook to go with him when he makes the move to the outside of time on the back straightaway. Will Terry make it three wide, though, and go for the win himself? Here comes somebody on the outside That's again. Fitzpatrick out there in the seven. Looks like he's going to try to fall back in line, though, just in front of Taylor Balsam. Hornaday's peeking to the outside. He tucks back in. Who's going to the move right now? It isn't enough, is it? Todd Bodine is going to be able to hold up the pack. He'll win again there at Daytona. Go, Woo! Wow, what a job by Todd Bodine. We two said in a row, baby. Todd said two in a row. I believe it's four in a row for Todd Bodine. Two in a row right here at this racetrack. Daytona International Speedway, a name synonymous with NASCAR. The Bodines got their first victory with Todd job, Bodine boy. a year ago at this racetrack, and he does it again in the truck series. Kyle Busch, I looked for him to make that move on the back straightaway. He tried to make it off turn four, but it was just too little too late. He didn't get the help from behind. The truck behind him, Terry Cook, tried to pass Kyle Busch, and that messed up Kyle's plan. Todd tried for so many years to get to victory lane in Daytona in multiple different series, and for the first time it happened a year ago, and now he duplicates that performance tonight. What a great job by Todd Bodine. Here comes Kyle Busch. He was right where he wanted to be. It looked like something happened with Kyle Busch.